G'day everyone, Fanny from Australia here. Hello, we're Braybach. Hey, I'm Aidan Towns. Hello, I am Svavar Knutur. Hi, I'm Lucy Ward. Ciao a tutti, hello. I am Mauro Durante from the band Canzoniere Grecanico Salentino. And we are team number one. Global Music Match has been the most enriching, awesome, intense experience. I've learned so much. Uh, it's been such a school. It's been such a project of growth and learning. We've had a fantastic time being part of Team One. You know, the most beautiful thing of being part of Global Music Match really was meeting wonderful people, making friends. I made such true friendships that I'm excited about that are going to last for the rest of my life. Um, they've inspired me to be a better artist, to be a better person. I've never imagined meeting such diverse and amazing and incredible inspiring people from all over the world making wonderful music. The most amazing thing that, that came out of it, making new friends and getting a lot more confident about my abilities. So grateful to have met all of my Team One buddies and to have been part of this incredible positive initiative. All the people that uh, are part of uh, team number one are just beautiful, amazing. In a really weird and terrible year, they've motivated me you know, to continue playing music and reminded me why it is that I love what I do and why I do what I do. CGS is very happy. We feel blessed, lucky, to, uh, to get the chance to meet you all. I'm so excited for post-COVID vibes because I can't wait to get overseas and um, and meet you all in person and let's make more music. I am really truly believe I'm going to be forever changed by the experience. It's something that I'm going to remember and think about always super fondly and will cherish forever. I just say thank you, thank all of you and I can't wait to meet you all in person one day. I love you team one. Who is most likely to win a Nobel Prize? Mauro, he's a statesman. Mauro! Uh, I would say CGS. They're just, they've got some extra intelligence that, you know, is just needs to be harnessed. They've got that beautiful Italian suave way about them um, that I think is deserving of a Nobel Prize. I think CGS as they're pretty much well on their way already. CGS, surely. They've already won an Amnesty International Award. They're just so on it. I don't know, I would say Callum. I think he's smart, he's got initiative, he can create things, find solutions. Lucy Ward for, I think, all the prizes. She's just good at so much. Most likely to go off the grid and completely disappear for a year. I would honestly probably have to say that that would be me, as I love being in the woods, and I also enjoy not talking to people. Aiden Towns. Aiden. Aiden. Aiden's going off grid. Aiden Towns or me. Uh, if he's anything like me, that's like a dream of ours, to live this solitude and, and a simple life. In the interview we had with Brayback, they told me that James was the most reliable. But then they also told me that when he get drunk, he do amazing and crazy things. So let's say James. I think maybe Lucy. Um, she'd like to disappear into this like English folk tale. Aiden Towns. Aiden Towns. <laughs> okay, who is most likely to pull off a jewelry heist? Braver. Oh, this is good. I feel like CGS. They could talk their way in the building with their smooth Italian charm. They're already so, you know, suave that if they walked out with jewelry on them, I don't feel like anyone would notice. Brayback. I don't know why, but perhaps Callum could play some quirky whistle, um, you know, backdrop to the heist. <laughs> Vibes. I would say Fanny. She's smart. And uh, it looks to me she's not afraid of anything. I would say Mauro and, and Silvia from, uh, from CGS. They are just cut from some kind of heist movie sometimes. Like, they just look, look the part. Oh, that's Brayback for sure. They're like this organized gang crime from the Highlands of Scotland. Who is most likely to host a beer Olympics? <laughs> 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 
Svabar. 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 I am going to say myself, beer is my passion. I also love competition and sports. So beer Olympics sounds basically like my dream come true. Uh, I've been practicing for a long time and I feel like I would podium in that event. Emmanuel from CGS, maybe. I would say Handy because he's so curious about, you know, new drinks. I would totally say Aiden and I would co-host the beer Olympics I would do the winter and he would do the summer Beer Olympics. I think we'd have to share that. I'm going to say Suava because just to make up for all that lost beer time, um, since those in Iceland didn't drink, like, couldn't have beer since before 89. So, yeah. Who's most likely to invent a new app? Uh, I'm torn between Lucy and Fanny. They're both very imaginative and exploring and always f trying to figure new stuff out. Lucy. 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 Tea, a knitting, a tea, no. tea automated singing with tea? Something something to do with tea. Something tea to do with song. tea. Swavar is the most likely to invent a new app. And that app would be some sort of facial recognition software where it turns you into those beautiful little caricature cutouts that he has become so good at making. He would be a billionaire. I think Aiden probably, but it would be like an anti app. So it would be to make sure that you're like as far away from the stresses and strains of the normal life as possible and to get you out in nature more. I think James from Brayback um, and the app would be this efficiency app so that like you just have to think once and it answers all the online questions um, with your social media or something like that just to make that super fast. Most likely to voice a cartoon character on TV. I would definitely vote for Swabber. He's got a great personality and voice and also he loves to play around and uh, uh, I mean I would watch a cartoon where the voice is uh, Swabbers. Um, I'm gonna Connell from Bra Brayback. I feel like Connell, you're just like, you're a silent, you know, sneaky one. You got some stuff going on in the background and also there's a, there's a rumor that you're double, like, double laughing as uh, Michael Flatley. So I just wouldn't put this past you. I gotta go with Calum. I love his voice. I think it's just really like interesting and engaging. And when we were doing our interviews together, I always was just thinking, man, you got a cool voice. Suava Kanito. Suava. 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 And his kids. Yeah. Well, that's me. I would. It's, it's a lifelong dream to be like, <laughs> like a bad guy. In Cartoon. Or just like a funky wizard. <laughs> Most likely to rescue a stranger from a burning building. Fanny Lumsden, she's actually trained in firefighting. Lucy Ward, uh, her, um, you know, sense of justice and, uh, and society and, and helping other people out, I would, I would have to say that that's her. I would do that. I wouldn't hesitate a bit, I think. I think maybe you and like, you know, like, okay, wear a kilt, save lives kind of thing. Ewan and Megan, while they were in there, they would just be thinking of all of these beautiful traditional melodies that they're going to create from the crackles of the flames. Fanny. 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 Why Fanny? Because she's awesome. And she's a firewoman. She's a firewoman. And she's a firewoman. <laughs> there we go. Who's most likely to start a sing-along on an airplane? Fanny Lumsden, hands down. She is the just like such a pip you know always pepping and happy CGS. 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 you know i feel like lucy would do that me or perhaps callum from brayback teaching everyone a pipe tune definitely be callum he would just get the whole place like hymning like <laughs> in, in, um, in the most enthusiastic way team one together all of us would start this most likely to volunteer to live on mars uh i would love to volunteer uh, if anyone is taking applications i feel like swabar has possibly already lived on mars and has come to earth to bestow his wisdom upon us so really this would just be like a homecoming for him so i'm gonna go with swava andy would i think he's an explorer he, li he loves to you know go driving and exploring and um 
spending time in his band. So next step is Mars, Sandy. I think Suava. I think that's you. Uh, I think you're just like, give me something very different to Iceland. I think that's gonna be me. If they let me bring a ukulele. Yeah, I have to bring the family though, but they, they'd settle for it. Team one. Uh, team one. Uh, team one. Uh, the whole team one, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> give you that. As long as we have Eddie. Maybe we can all go start our colony, global music match colony. <laughs> Most likely to become an Instagram influencer. Fanny Lomsden is already an Instagram influencer, surely. Fanny. Fanny Lomsden. I gotta go with Fanny. I mean, she's just this badass Aussie, and I think people would want to follow that. I would say Lucy. She's got the speech, the ideas. She's sweet. She's clever. Mauro. You like just like the looks. You like, and look, you have the sunny bitches, and the Italian thing. Uh, that's Aiden's dogs. They're like an untapped resource. Who is the most likely to charm their way out of a speeding ticket? This guy back here. <laughs> Funny. I think she has the charm, the initiative, and the craziness enough to make this possible. I gotta go with Moro from CGS, uh, or Alessia as well, especially if they were pulled over in Canada. Mauro from CGS. I don't think he'd speed, but I think he has, you know, the Italian charm to, you know, just convince people that it's all right, man. I'm gonna say Megan from Brayback. She'll just like sing to them in Gaelic or something and otherwise she'll just kick them because she's from the kicking band. Brayback means kicking. I would say any of the Brayback guys, they just like have this Scottish, just the accent is just gonna save them. I didn't know I was speeding, officer. I'm sorry, officer. I didn't, I didn't mean to. Most likely to help the FBI solve a crime. I've just always wanted to be a detective, but I think it's a, it's CGS. They're on it. They're really just on everything. I think Mauro's got a bit of uh, the detective qualities about him. Me? I like to people watch. It inspires a lot of my writing, so maybe something I'd seen would be a vital clue. You know, I think I would partner with Kalum as PIs to help the FBI solve a crime. I think we would get along and we would have fun. I'm gonna go with Fanny. I feel like she would really get in there. She'd want the facts. She'd get the job done. I would trust Fanny with my murder investigation. <sighs> None of us. We ain't no snitches. Who's most likely to choreograph a dance routine? Um, for Kylie Minogue. I would say Sylvia from CGS. She is quite the dancer and it's it's quite magnificent to watch her work. I would just see her going to Australia to to uh, it's like work with Kylie like in a dance that I like this. I mean that's Fanny as well only because she talks about Kylie all the time. The obvious answer is Fanny however I think we need to give a special shout out to our team one coach Eddie Barkin. Eddie, this one is all you, hot pants included. Maybe chuck in some roller skates. I think Megan could do that. She can sing, she can play the violin, she can dance. I would have to go to our friend Fanny. Oh, what about <laughs> Megan? Oh. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Keep that in mind.